Hey guys, it's Jensen Pearl, welcome back to another episode of Terra. Last time, we made our way out here to the Death Gorge, as well as managed to find Huzroth the Tyrant. Huzroth the Tyrant, immediately upon coming here. So one thing I do want to note is that I did spend some time going back and looking for, uh... Nixaris. Did not find him. I decided, you know what, we're just gonna come back and we're gonna work on uh, progressing through the story here. We'll come back later and find him at some point when we need to. So, for now, we're just gonna go ahead and start all these missions here. We have, uh, what, five of them to do? We have six to do. And I think that'll be really, really good. Could be a good amount of experience, even though the quests really don't, the ex amount of experience we get for these missions literally doesn't mean anything. It's almost zero, so... It's almost zero compared to how much um, I could be getting from story missions. Oh, come on. There we go. But we gotta do these for other achievements, uh, of course. It's the only reason we're actually doing these. Not doing them for the experience, of course. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and just get continue working on this. So it looks like Huzrod's back. I think I am going to kill him again. See, he has brought the tyrants back. He wasn't that hard, so I think I am going to go ahead and kill him again to get another point for world bosses. And besides, he had, he's, he'll be back in, within three hours. I'm actually surprised that no one has killed him yet. And also, I didn't realize until now that his color scheme is actually different from other blood talent Dracolots. Well, I didn't hit him. That sucks. Oh, come on, I blocked. Okay, that's bad news. you, buddy. There we are. Might as well get another one of those under our belts. That's good. That's good. So, how many wolf bosses have I killed? I actually don't know. No, it's not towards the duty. It's encounters and exploration. Alright, where are the bosses? Bosses, bosses. Killed 200 named bosses. Wow, that's actually some pretty good progress. Considering that I need, um... 5,000? We're 4% of the way there? No. Yeah, we're 4% of the way there. I was right the first time. So, making some okay progress on that achievement. That's probably going to be the last achievement I earn. I don't know how it's not going to be. And that one is going to require a lot of grinding. That's why I'm trying to get a lot of uh, headway on these. So that way, when I get to more grindy episodes, I have time to do them. And, uh, yeah, uploads will be more erratic, unfortunately. I'm not, I don't want them to be, it's just that I don't have a lot of extra time to do editing and everything. So, believe me, I want to be, uh, putting out episodes more frequently, but it's just like, for one, editing time is spar- is sparse. Um, school, of course, always gets in the way. Other life things are happening. Just a lot of a lot of stuff that gets in the way. And it's unfortunate, because like I said, I really do want to do more recording. Uh, I, uh, recording, editing, and uploading as a whole, because I think all of that's fun and great. I think it's... It seems like the people who watch it enjoy it, even though it's like five people. Alright, let's see. Hello. Hello, Mr. Dracolot. Oh, really? One, two... Oh, come on! Oh, 
Give me some HP back. Alright, computer, calm down. Calm down. Alright. So I'll go back and get those Tenebra Overseers in a little bit. So I believe Griegelt is... There he is. Here's Griegelt. So we're going to go ahead and take him out next. One thing I do want to do is hit these feisty imps because each one of those gives me a stack. So yeah, he's... So he may be a Dracoloth in name only. There we go. He's actually, he doesn't have the HP to back up being a boss like he is meant to be. He just looks like a boss. All right. So now that we've gotten that, we're going to go ahead and pick these up. And as you can see, we need to go talk to uh, Torsten, who's over there. Anyway. Just keep killing these imps. We need to kill a couple blood, a couple blood more Talon Dracoloths. A couple more blood Talon Dracoloths. hitting the other button, okay? Let's hit that one. Alright, Dracoloth wing. Let's wait for this to come back, and then we're gonna run up, and he's gonna die. Hello? One, two, and then... Yeah, no, buddy. I don't even care if it wasn't a perfect defense. Hey, there we are. So we need to pick up some Death Blossoms, apparently. Also need to kill some more feisty Evan Imps. How many more do I need? How many more teeth? I need four more teeth. I need one more tooth. Oh, sorry about that. What the heck? That's strange. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and keep collecting stuff. Sorry, I had a message I had to answer. <clears throat> Respond it. What do you want? Busy. Well, there we go. That's all the teeth I needed. So now I just need Death Blossom. Four, so we're gonna get one more. We're gonna go talk to Torsten, and then we're gonna head back, kill these Tenebra overseer, Tenebrara overseers, and then head back to uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. what's his name? Uh, the the campsite. Hello, Torsten. Here are the words of the creator Salarin. The dragon's wrath is the depth of its fuel. Can you feel it reach the altar? I don't know. Can I walk upstairs? I don't know what it is, but the textures have kind of been glitching out for me a little bit. I'll try not to look at it so it doesn't really affect the footage. Anyway, again, the fragment shines with untold power. That power is yours to take. So that's three relics that we have, or we have three shards now. Let's go back and talk to Torsten now that we have Griegeld's thing. The fourth and final fragment lies beyond the reach of even Salarin's dragons. It is in the hands of Kiliad, God of Terror. Unless you can take his fragment from him, we will have no hope against the Great Beast Kelsey. Alright, so now we need to go to Torsten and Tor Exel. Over there. Yeah, in Blood Valley. So, before we do anything else, we're gonna go ahead and murder some Tenebrara overseers. I gotta answer one more. 
Alright. Sorry about that. These are just important messages I need to answer. Alright. Yeah, luckily, it's not taking very long, so it's not that big of a deal. Anyway, now we need to kill 12 of these guys. Which are the same as the Shuriman Champions. Or Shurian Champions. Hello. You only deal 2,000 damage. Weak. Keep slowly cleaning the house. Is that a boss? He looks so different. I guess that's just the firelight, but he looks so much different. I guess it's, uh, again, just the firelight. Interesting. He did drop some alcohest. Alright. There's eight. There's nine. There's ten. And as we make our way back out, eleven. And good old fashioned number twelve. You don't dodge me. There we are. Alright. And I believe that's actually gonna be everything up here. I don't believe there's any more missions up in Worm Gorge. Uh, don't quote me on it. Alright. So let's turn all these missions in. Hello, there's one. There's two. There is three. Get to the four. And. Oh, and we got two achievements! A bit of a headache. Completed the quest, heads will roll, and we also got Empty the Gorge, right here, which is for completing four quests here in, uh, in Worm Gorge. So what is that? That's, uh, I can't see. What, 20? And 10, we got 30 points and achievements right there, that's pretty nice. Alright, awesome! So, now we are gonna go ahead and head back to Elenia. These are not better than what I have, not even by, by, like, there's no margin there. Let's go back to Elenia. And then from there, we'll head up to Tor Exel. And hopefully there will be some new stuff for us to do up there. Alright, so let's head over to Tor Exel now. I'm going to go ahead and head out to the north. See, this is all happening. I don't know why the buildings are freaking out and the textures are glitching everywhere. Who's texting me? Oh. Alright, so we're going to head up to the north now. First thing we're going to do is we're going to clear out Outlaw's Nest, and then we'll head over to the Rain Tree Oasis, and then we'll head into Blood Valley. But on our way over, we got to kill some Rasp Tusk Sabertooth. I feel like now I'm just not doing any damage. Like, I feel like my damage drops off significantly at this point in the game. It's like, recently I've been going back and I've been um, playing some stuff from early on in this in the game again. Like, Fey Forest stuff. And god, I do so much damage to those enemies. Like, literally, some of the bigger enemies I can one-shot with just, uh, what, like, Roundhouse Kick. Like, it is crazy. And now it's just like, nope! You don't even two-shot enemies. Well, I guess I two-shot enemies, but like, you know what I mean. While we're out here, I actually do want to pull up something really quick before we progress much further. I do want to go into here. I believe... Yes, it is you. Alright. Alright, so, we want to be look on the lookout for a world boss. We have one more 
besides Nick Saris to deal with. And it'd be great if he was just around. Aw, oh, man. I saw that second name, and I thought, damn, that's him. No, it's not. All right. So, unfortunately, we're not near any of a spawn. He has... One, two, three, four. He has six spawn locations in this area. I really hope he's around. Because I don't want to walk around through six spawn locations just to find this guy. Anyway. Okay, good. It does send me up there. Thank, thank God. All right. Well, it looks like for the moment we're actually, while we're here, we're going to go ahead and check. Because you never know. So we're looking for spawn location number one. Which, uh, uh, he's not here. I'm pretty sure that he is not, in fact, present. If I look at my map. Yeah. So one of his spawn locations would be right here, but unfortunately I don't see anything. So we're not heading into Blood Valley yet. I just wanted to check and see if he was here. Wait, what are those? Oh, those are just regular enemies. Alright. So, unfortunately, spawn location one was a bust. And I believe this is still just one channel region. Yes, it is. <sighs> Not looking good. But that's alright. We still have five more locations to look for. And if we're out here long enough, he'll just spawn up again. Hopefully we just have another Hezrot thing, where it's just he's there. I mean, I don't know why people aren't heading up into uh, Death Gorge for bosses and why they're going to the Field of Fire. Because I keep seeing people at Nixaris and not at Hezrot. Like, I've gotten two Hezrots, but no Nixarises. And I've been looking for Nixaris for way longer than I have Hezrot. Hezrot was pretty quick. Anyway, let's just go ahead. And now we need to go talk to Tarnan. Alright. So, first thing. We're gonna go get some thieves' ears from the Dark Thrall Masters and Vicious Orc games down here. God, seriously, this these textures need to fix themselves and like now. Ah, oh, dang it! Thought I wasn't gonna catch him. Oh well. All right, hello. All right, there's two. And moving in, one, two, and then swing. I love how the little guys drop the ear or drop these collectibles so rarely that you should never ever you should rely on having to kill ten waves of enemies. Since the little guys are probably never ever gonna give you any, and it's kind of annoying. Just how rare the drop rate is. I mean, to be fair, each guy has six of these, which I mean makes sense to have a low drop rate, but oh my god. If it's pretty much to the point where I'm never, ever going to collect any from these guys, what's the point of having a drop rate on them at all? Like, nice thing is, for each target I hit with Divine Wrath, I get 1500 Fury, so... It's an, oh, hey, I got one! From, uh, not... Not a big guy. I'm pretty sure there was only one, uh... Big guy in there. I... Come on, give me one, please. <laughs> if one of these little guys gives me one, I swear I'm gonna be I'm gonna be upset. Oh, the little guy gave me one. All right, that's so dumb. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just since we're right here, I'm gonna turn it in, and then I'm gonna go ahead and. You know, I think we'll finish up the quest around Outlaw's Nest, and then I think we'll cut it. We'll make this one a little bit shorter, because someone just invited me to go do something. So, we're going to head up, hurry up and finish this. There we go. Wow! I got Thieves' Ears. I killed a lot of enemies. So now we need to kill Beast Tamers, and uh, look for the supply carriage north of Ru Runner's Wrath. One Runner's Watch. Alright, oh, that carriage. Yeah. All right. So just gonna keep killing these base teamers, beast tamers, and then go looking for that carriage. Which probably, which, knowing my luck, will have me killing more beast tamers. Probably not though. There it is. So we need to grab the Mysterium Venator, or yeah, Venator corpse. There it is. Hello. 
Hello, corpse. So now we need to just go. Now we need to go back for the trace with a trace of an ambush. Anyway, we're gonna kill. Then wait till I've killed six of these. Actually, I should probably kill seven and then come back because this won't have respawned by the time I start going back. Okay, six. Actually, while we're up here. Probably not. I think I feel like I'd see him by now. So the Vulcan does have another spawn location up here, but I'm not seeing him anywhere, which I think means, yeah, he's not around. Oh well. Unfortunate. I missed! Alright, well, I'm good at this game, for sure. Imagine he spawns in right as I leave, and then someone comes and finds him. Ugh. That would be the worst. There's 12. Yeah, okay, I need to go back. So, we'll just make our way back. Ooh, some Alkahest. Nice. I was afraid I was actually going to hit that scorpion. I came really close. <laughs> Turn into Tarnan. Oh, you have another quest for me. Oh, which has me head out to the northwest of Outlaw's Nest. All right. So we have, what, two more? Yeah, we have two more here. Which are going to send me up to Outlaw's Nest, of course. We garrison food supplies. And... Tenebrara Assassins and Enforcers. All right, well, we're going to head off this way. And hopefully... We are going to find the um, Kel'Thuzad Vulcan up here because he has, in fact, two spawn locations up here. So, we'll be on the lookout. I doubt we'll actually find him because I'm not that lucky. But, like I said, we'll just keep looking. We will check around and see if he is, in fact, present. Oh, that's a rap tusk. I don't want to touch you. Alright, hello. <laughs> nice try running away, bro. Alright. We're also looking for uh, garrison food supplies. I am pretty far to the south, so I don't actually know if they'll be around here. I know they are further up north. I just don't know where they start. Right. So he does not have a spawn location over here. His spawn location is further to the north. So we've still got a little ways to go. And I also do not see the bags of garrison food supplies, so I'm guessing that they're probably not down here. Yeah, I'm not seeing any. Alright, so here's number eight, and then we can go ahead and keep heading north. All right, there we go, that's eight. So we're gonna go ahead and head further north until we meet the Tenebrara Assassins. There they are, and there's the food stuff. Is that food stuff or food stock? Food sack. Look, it's in the ground. Yeah, that food sack is underground. They buried it. I missed. All right, so I'm, I, I am going to be on the lookout for the Kel'Thuzad Vulcan. Since we are... Oh, come on! Since we are getting close to his first spawn location. Come on. Please be here. Just be here, please. And looks like he is not present. Alright, Tenebrara Assassin. Let's go ahead and grab some more food sacks. 
Yep, okay, so it looks like uh, good old Vulcan is not around. Alright, well, that's unfortunate. So I'm looking for you, Justin, or Pastin. Yeah, Pastin, alright. Let's go ahead underneath. Alright. You're being guarded by a Vulcan, or Vulcan. That'd be nice. You're being guarded by the Vulcan, but you're not. Alright, let's talk to Pastin. Who wants us to kill 12 priests? There's no other reason for the priest to be here. Pretty much you have to kill every enemy that's around at least once. So yeah, the Kel'Thuzad Vulcan does in fact have a spawn point around here. Unfortunately, like I said, he's not present. Um, I will go ahead and head towards the third spawn point. Oh, these Super Our Priests have a lot of HP. Alright, that was easy enough. Oh, dang it! Vale Hunter Arachnid made me excited for a second. I totally thought that was going to be him. Is that an assassin? I can't tell. There's 11. Oh, you're just an assassin. You're going to see me, though. Alright. Ah, the crits. Ooh, another safe haven teleport scroll. Alright, how many more do we need? Oh, this is the last one. So we're going to go back to uh, Pastin. Go ahead and head over. You know what? While we're here for the moment, I will look for the Kel'Thuzad Vulcan at his next spawn point. Which should be right here, and unfortunately, as per usual, he is not around. So I believe this is his fourth spawn point. Yeah, wait. Oh, dang it! You know, he would spawn over there. So unfortunate, but we do need to kill one of these Veil Hunter Arachnids for our... Uh, Royal, for our Rule Southern Shara achievement, so we're going to go ahead and just take one of them out. This is also a really good experience for fighting Arachnid enemies, just in general, because there are there is going to be one Arachnid enemy that's going to be very dangerous towards the end of the game that we're going to have to deal with. Alright, we just needed to kill one. That's all we needed to do. So for the moment, that is all. All right, let's just cover some ground. Didn't drop anything, that's fine with me. Let's go over to Pastin. Now we need to go... I actually need to go up here. Cabinet of Remnants. So, so we need to go up here into this little uh, area that I was before where I grabbed the food sacks. I prefer to get in here without having to fight anybody. Let's go ahead and head up here. I do need to kill one priest. Cabinet of Remnants. Back to Pastin. Nice, I can't get on that. Alright. Back over we go. And my computer just needs to relax. Like, God. You're not working that hard. Man. Oh well, we're going to talk to Pastin again. He's probably going to send us back to the campsite now. Yeah, back to Tarnan.
All right. So we're going to go ahead and just head on back. So uh, let's just avoid some enemies. Uh, all right. Come on. When I say run, you run. Hopefully, we'll find the Kel'Thuzad. Uh, uh, oh, what's the Kel'Thuzad Arachnid? Kel'Thuzad Vulcan. Uh, along the way somewhere. Since he wasn't at four of his six spawn locations, I can only hope that he has isn't one of his other two in the Rain Tree Oasis. That's where his other two spawn locations are. <laughs> so, to recap, we have been here, we have been there, there, and there, and he has not been at any of those. So, per, per chance, if he is in any of those, good job for you. And if not, then oh well. But for the moment, I'm going to go ahead and head on back. And I think if it, if I get the mission to head over to this campsite, I'm going to head over to there first, the Mana Fire Outpost. So if we get asked to head over there, I think I'm going to do that, and then I'll end the episode. So we're going to go ahead and turn in these quests. Hello, Nadine. All right. And then Tarnan. Yes, he is, in fact, sending us over there. We need to kill ten Tenebrara Karyagons. I hate that name. So we get Torch the Tor um, for that last quest where with Paston where we went all over the place. Ten priests in that cabinet. So that's Torch the Tor. So we're actually doing pretty okay, actually. I'm pretty content with that. That's just probably another, yeah, another 20-point achievement. So out of our achievements, we're at 1431 already. That's pretty good. All right. Well, for now, we are going to go ahead and head all the way back. And kill ten of these dudes. Because they are in my way. Right, there's two. Just need to get ten of them before I head to the campsite. Luckily, it's not twenty. Ooh, nice. I love when it just clean it's clean like that and Jackhammer gets the kill. It's so satisfying. I crit that scorpion for 105,000 damage. Rip the scorpion, man. Alright. I kill you as well. Here's where we're gonna need this is where we're gonna get the quest to kill the Veil Hunter Arachnids. Right, there's eight, nine, and good old number ten. Didn't get the kill. All right, so now, ah, oh my nose. We're gonna go ahead and pick up these quests. Hopefully, turn that one in. Actually, you know what? We're going to keep going for a little bit. No reason not to keep going. Since for the moment, the person I'm waiting for is occupied. So, we're just going to go ahead and we are not going to go do this yet. Uh, I'm going to actually head north. I would do the Dead Lamb and the Veil Hunter Arachnid first. And then we'll head off to the Rain Tree Oasis because we're going to get some more missions to do. I believe they're all going to come from this dude, Malon. Because I'm pretty sure after we kill these guys, they're going to send us back. So. Perfect defense. That one is the easiest to defend against. Alright, 
good. I did not mean to pick up two of those MPs. And we're going to pick up eight dead lands. Just going to keep up the work here. Press, but all right. Nice. All right. I say nice like it was an accomplishment. It's not like killing the Arachnids is very hard. All right. There's two. Ouch. Ah. There's three. Four. He straight up can't hit me. Well, he can hit me there. Oh, come on. attack is probably the scariest one that we'll have to face later is that one that's just a lot of that wait do I have four I do have four all right I can head back so one two three and then uh, I guess four over there that'll actually be the last two arachnids too which is great wait I killed three there's one there was two all right well whatever hopefully by the time I pick this one up this guy will respawn There we go. He did, indeed. Alright, there's four. Computer, calm down! Jeez! Is that a dead lamb? Yes. Alright. Bam! Five out of five. Got both of those and grab the dead lamb. And bam! Oh, come on, pick up the dead lamb. We're gonna make in at the Mana Fire Outpost, and then we'll need to head over to Malin after we complete these two quests. So let's go ahead and head on over and turn these in. And then we'll do what we need to with the Rain Tree Oasis. And then once we're done with that, we're gonna head on back to the blood to Blood Valley. I feel like we're making only a little. I don't feel like we're making a huge amount of progress today. I don't know if that's just me. Just I don't know. I have a feeling that we could be doing more. All right, so go ahead and talk to Terran and Macon. Hello. And now we're gonna head over to Malin. Talk to Bailey later. Or Bailey, this dude, whatever his name is. All right, let's head off this way. Mr. Malin should be right over here. Here he is, Malin the Lost Arcanist. Although I don't know why he doesn't just head west a little bit. Alright, there we are. So, now we're on the lookout for Kel'Thuzad Vulcan. Because like I said before, he has two spawn locations here. It does not appear that he's at one of them. Actually, I guess I'm not, I'm probably not, no, I think I'm close enough. May not actually be close enough. Well, there is a non-Vulcan, Sandwalker, Lizard, 
Mr. Vulcan is not here. There's only one more space to look. Alright, so we're going to pick up um, the Strelitzia. And then we're actually going to head north. I'm going to come back for those lizards later. But I do want to go and immediately look for that la for the Galthazad Vulcan at his last spawn location. Because I want to be sure that I've at least looked everywhere first. Don't separate. Do not separate. Because there is one more spot that he can spawn in. And that is the last spot, really, that I can even, that I can look, of course. So we're going to go ahead and check it out first, because there's also the lizards up here. The yak's not going to attack me, he's passive. Right, I'm just going to keep killing these desert hearts. It's interesting, though, that there's just a rainforest here. In the middle of an desert. I guess that's why it's called the Rain Tree Oasis. Alright. Get more of the Strelizia. So we, need, we do need to kill one of these Sandlurker Lizards at some point. So I guess I can... Go ahead by past it. Just in case the Kel'Thuzad Vulcan is up here. I do want to hunt him first. He has priority. So if I have access to Divine Wrath, I want to use it on him. Uh, it looks like he's not here. Yeah, I don't see him around. Unfortunately, it looks like... Uh, am I in the right spot even? Can I see... Yeah, no, he should be right up here. Oh, well. Looks like we're not getting the Kel'Thuzad Vulcan today. Maybe next time, but definitely not today. Oh well. Alright, hello. So we need to kill the Sandlurker Lizard. Alright, there's one. Lizard, lizard, yeah, lizard's all right. That was a lot of damage. No, buddy. We're not getting a lot of damage off on me. Alright. It's unacceptable. Alright, I guess you're next prey. Whoa, he froze. All right. Interesting when the model freezes. Anyway, did you drop? Yeah, you dropped all gas. All right. I guess we'll kill this lizard and then we'll move on. Actually, we need to go back and grab some more flowers, so... to do something with it? Alright. Now that he is done, we are going to go ahead and head back and grabbing those flowers so that way we can be done. I'm really bummed that we couldn't find the Vulcan, but I mean, oh well, we're just going to have to find him next time. One more flower over there. Go 
around. I feel like they're going to aggro on me because that's going to be too close to them. But we'll find out shortly. No, it's a lizard. Alright, they didn't aggro. Good. Alright, let's go back to Malin. Since now we have completed his three missions. Man, I really wish the Vulcan was around. That would have been nice. Like I said, just getting it out of the way would have been nice. But that means that's, again, two world bosses we have to come back for. Um, and then we have Tempest Kanash, which is level 68. I also actually have to go look for... Uh, no, just Tempest Kanash, I guess. Right? I think he's the last one I have to look for on the other island. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I go up here. <laughs> Alright, hello! Let's turn in your quest, sir. Nice! Alright, those are all done. So, I guess I'll head back to the camp. And, uh, I think I'll end this episode here then. So we made a good chunk of progress in this episode. We got, I believe, three achievements. Yeah, we got three achievements. Um, unfortunately, they weren't very big achievements, but hey, we're making more progress than we have been in, like, a bunch of... There were a lot of episodes there where we got maybe one or zero achievements, but hey, now we have a bunch. So, we made a lot of progress. We absolutely completed Worm Gorge, and we did uh, most of the work in Tor Exil. Now we just have to head next time on Terra. We're going to head into Blood Valley, complete all those things, and hopefully end up being two steps away from gathering the uh, da, da, rule southern shara achievement because all we have we have to kill one magmar terralith as well as grind 50 of them and then we will be two away from completing rule southern shara see you guys then